Hey there, have you ever felt like someone was giving you a silent clue through just a glance? Maybe you locked eyes with a stranger across the room and you instantly felt you knew something about them without even saying a word. Well, it turns out your hunch might not be so far off. In today's video, we'll explore why the eyes really are the windows to the soul and how to decode what people are feeling or thinking just by looking at their eyes. Stick around and by the end of this video, you'll have some cool tricks up your sleeve to read the subtle signals hidden in every blink, pupil dilation, and gaze. Unlocking the secrets of the eyes. Why the eyes are a window to the soul. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but when it comes to eyes, it might just be worth a million. The eyes can reveal so much about a person's emotional state, like excitement, nervousness, or even genuine happiness. Ever notice someone whose eyes literally light up when they're thrilled about something? It's as if their inner enthusiasm is shining right through. The science behind eye movements and their connection to emotions from a scientific standpoint. Our eyes are closely connected to our nervous system. Emotions such as fear, surprise, or joy can't trigger changes in muscle tension around the eye, causing varied expressions. On top of that, hormones released during emotional states can influence things like pupil size and blink rate. How different eye movements can indicate different emotions. Side glances. A quick side glance might mean someone is distracted or unsure. Downward gaze often suggests guilt or sadness. Prolonged stare can indicate interest or sometimes social awkwardness. Don't get the wrong idea though, it's not always straightforward. Context matters. A downward gaze could mean someone is shy rather than guilty, but with a bit of practice, you can start picking up on patterns that reveal how a person's truly feeling inside. 2. Decoding the pupil dilations. What happens to our pupils when we experience certain emotions? Pupil size changes can be influenced by more than just light. When we're attracted to someone or genuinely interested in what they're saying, our pupils may dilate or become bigger. Conversely, when we're uncomfortable or disinterested, our pupils can constrict. How to spot subtle changes in pupil size. You don't have to stare creepily into someone's eyes to notice this. A quick look during normal conversations can give you subtle hints. Maybe you're in a job interview and notice the interviewer's pupils enlarge when you speak about a certain topic. That might indicate they're intrigued by what you're sharing. Practical examples. Pupil dilation is a telltale sign of attraction or interest. On a date, pay attention to whether your date's pupil seems larger when talking to you. It could be a sign of genuine interest. During a pitch or presentation, notice if your audience's pupils dilate at certain points. That might mean what you're saying is resonating. Just remember, lighting does play a role. So reading pupil dilation is best done in consistent or ambient lighting where you can compare pupil sizes over a short span of time. 3. The Blink Code Unmasking hidden intentions. The different types of blinks and their associated meanings, like comfort or relaxation. Cats do this too when they're content. Rapid blinking can indicate nerves, stress, or discomfort. Long pause blink, sometimes seen when someone is trying to process or fabricate information, like they're buying time to think. How rapid blinking can indicate anxiety or discomfort. If you're explaining something important to your boss and suddenly you notice they start blinking rapidly, it might be a sign they're overwhelmed or uneasy about your topic. Maybe they have concerns they haven't voiced yet, or perhaps they just need a quick second to get their thoughts in order. Using blink patterns to understand someone's level of engagement. Keep an eye out, pun intended, for shifts in blink patterns during conversations. If someone usually blinks at a normal rate but suddenly ramps up to a flurry of rapid blinking, you might ask if everything's okay. It's a subtle way to show you're tuned in and genuinely care about how they're feeling. The gaze game. Interpreting eye direction. How eye direction can reveal someone's focus and attention. 
If someone's gaze shifts frequently, it can mean their mind is wandering or they're distracted. But let's be fair, some of us are natural fidgeters. For instance, if you notice your friend looking off to the side as you talk, it might mean they're envisioning what you're describing. Alternatively, consistent darting of the eyes could signal they're looking for an exit from the conversation. Understanding the difference between a direct gaze and averted gaze. Direct gaze, often considered a sign of confidence, honesty, or interest. Averted gaze could suggest discomfort, avoidance, or shyness. In some social settings, too much direct eye contact can come off as intimidating. The key is balance. Hold eye contact long enough to show you're attentive, but not so long that it turns into a staring contest. The power of eye contact and how it influences social interactions. Making eye contact is one of the strongest ways to communicate presence and confidence. Whether it's in a meeting, on a date, or just catching up with a friend, appropriate eye contact can create trust and mutual respect. And if you want to create a moment of connection, try locking eyes just a bit longer than usual while smiling. It can make a powerful impression. Beyond the basics. Advanced Eye Reading Techniques How to Identify Micro-Expressions and Their Connection to Deception Micro-expressions are those lightning-fast facial changes that come across someone's face when they're trying to conceal an emotion. Maybe a quick flash of fear in their eyes before they revert to a neutral expression. Spotting micro-expressions takes practice, but it's a valuable skill if you want deeper insights into what someone might be hiding or feeling. The importance of considering cultural differences in eye behavior. One crucial thing to remember is that eye contact etiquette isn't universal. In some cultures, maintaining prolonged eye contact is seen as disrespectful or confrontational. Always keep context in mind. Don't assume everyone interprets eye signals the same way. Practicing and honing your eye reading skills for better communication. Observe subtle details. Notice how people's eyes react to various emotions in real life scenarios or even in your favorite TV shows. Pair it with other cues. Combine observations of posture, tone of voice, and facial expressions for a well-rounded understanding. Stay curious and open-minded. Remember, nobody's eyes will have a blinking neon sign telling you exactly what they're thinking and feeling. It's more like piecing together a puzzle. So there you have it, some powerful insights to help you decode the hidden messages people convey through their eyes. From pupil dilation that might hint of attraction to blink rates that can betray stress or engagement, our eyes are a rich source of information. By learning to pay attention to these signals, you can take your communication skills to the next level. Whether it's building trust in a job interview, bonding with a friend, or even taking your dating game up a notch. Guys, thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating ways we communicate without words. Now, get out there and start reading the ice around you. You might just be surprised by what you discover.